What's going on lads? A414 here and welcome to another episode of Zen and Now. Um, today we're going to be doing Juventus due to the amount of fantastic support on the first video. So a massive thank you to that. As you see, Joel Mahabir here. Great video again, man. It means a lot. And we've recently hit 500 subscribers. And just look at all the comments saying Juve, guys. I think there were four comments altogether saying Juventus. So that is the team we're going to be doing for this episode. Um, they've got a solid spot on them yet. So uh, yeah, we're going to start off here with Gianluigi Buffon. Um, of course, very old now, but has been an absolutely insane goalkeeper all his life. And back in FIFA 10, he was 90 rated. Look at some of those stats. He was surely the best goalie in the game. What an absolute tank. He must have been up there with Casillas because I know how good he was um, five years ago. He was at his prime back then. So, yeah, he's still doing really well now, actually. So, yeah, well done hit to him. Rose centre back Bonucci here goes back into FIFA 10 where he has this um, silver card, 67 rated. Not very good. Is that from the Serie A? Not sure. Maybe it was. Got a weird logo. Um, but, you know, not very good silver card. Um, definitely has improved um, now, which is good to see because he has far more defending and a bit more pace, which is obviously good to see in a centre back. We then have Barzagli, guys. Again, a decently old centre back for Juventus, born in 1981. Back in FIFA 10, plays for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. Decent card, actually. 71 pace, 182 defending, 81 physical. Uh, but, of course, has got four upgrades in his stats in um, how, how he is now in FIFA 16. On to Chiellini, we have this 87 rated, incredible card. 90 defending. Back in FIFA 10, he was actually still really, really good. A bit more pace than he has now by three over by three stats, which is good. Um, as you can see, 86 rated, 80 pace, which is really solid. It's still solid defensive and physical stats, but it's not as good as he is now. Up in right back, we have Lich Steiner. Um, here he goes, back in FIFA 10, playing at Lazio, is that? I think it is. Um, not the best uh, card, of course. We're playing him in right wing back now, that's where he kind of plays the Aventus. Well, was actually a right wing back back in FIFA 10, so that's quite interesting. Of course, would have got 100 ke 10 chemistry um, if he was still a right back this FIFA, so that's quite interesting. But still a solid card. Patrice Evra, we know, of course, in f five years ago, he was at Manchester United and was a pretty good left back in the Premier League. If those defensive stats were up to bit, then anyone would be getting their hands on him because not only can he bomb forward from left back with that 89 pace, he has great dribbling stats, 84 dribbling, which is fantastic, and he's just gone a bit down now um, in FIFA 16. In right, right centre mid, we have Sami Kadir, of course, recently joined from Real Madrid. Back in FIFA 10, um, really quite a horrendous card here. Not many outstandings, I don't think many people would be getting their hands on it. Um, plays for, is that um, VFB Stuttgart? I think it might be. Um, solid stats on him, but just Again, the sort of stuff that you wouldn't be going near 24-7. In left centre mid, we have Paul Pogba, guys, here. Of course, we know how good this guy is these days, and we all know about this card. Back in FIFA 12, this was the most incredible card. Look at the state of it for Man U. 34 shooting, and then look at some of the long shots this guy's scoring these days. And the comparison from that to his last year's Tots card is actually mental. So, yeah, that's a really awesome then and now card. We then have Marquise up in camp. Getting along with these Juventus players, who's stuck at Juventus, and um, has actually been a pretty solid player all their career. Look at that, it's a really balanced out card from Marquisio. 80 rated, with a bit more physical. I'm sure a lot of people would have been getting their hands on that in central midfield, because um, it's actually a really nice card. 79 pace, 73 shooting, 78 passing, 77 physical, 77 defending, and uh, of course that 66 physical does put you off a bit. Up in left striker, we have Alvaro, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Alvaro um, Morata. Decent card back in FIFA 12, of course, one of those youngsters who just needs to develop a bit. 70 rated, and for those stats, that's actually alright. I don't know, maybe his finishing stats were good, his long shots, who knows. But yeah, um, look at the 61 pace, the 68 shooting, the 61 dribbling. is a bit, you know, it puts you off, and I don't think many people would be buying that back in FIFA 12. Same with Pogba's card. And then to finish off, guys, we have Mario Mandzukic, um, 83 rated striker. Solid, actually. He's got a decent amount of pace on him, more than I thought. But back in FIFA 11... Of course, we can't go back to FIFA 10 with this guy. But yeah, still actually a decently solid card. So yeah, um, that's not too bad for Mario Mandzukic. 75 dribbling, 74 shooting. Just a bit worse than it is now. But that is actually going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash the likes on the video for even more then and now coming out in the future. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Hope you did enjoy it.